Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with my rainy day, windy day, Fendi baguette review. If you do not know what I am talking about, I had notated in this shopping haul video that um, I had purchased a Fendi baguette jacket, which is a windbreaker style that folds into a bag so i am here to talk about this jacket today i've had this jacket about mm, maybe a month or two now so i've wore well we'll get into that but anyways guys my name is rochelle i love hype bay luxury things love to travel as well so if that is up your alley why not help your girl out consider subscribing and also like this video as well so uh, you can help your girl out but first a quick vlog. Hi girl. So that is Tarina. She does have a YouTube channel as well. She is somebody who lives on the islands and we actually found out we have the same Fendi sales associate. So we decided why not just meet up since we were planning to go anyway and we met and it was like an instantaneous click. And Asako brought who is our sales associate had brought us together she had mentioned to me before actually um, like a long time ago I think I was shopping for my first Fendi Porter things when she had first mentioned to me about Tarina however we um, met this is probably the second time the first time we met is when we had a lunch with Mel and Melbourne and this is the first time we hung out just her and I it was really fun the time flew by so so quickly so I hope you guys enjoyed that little vlog session that I had with her it was pretty ready to wear driven to be honest I think we were more interested in the ready to wear than we were for bags and stuff but I did see some cute stuff of course I had to pass up that Fendi Porter because your girl does not need any more even though I really love the gray I feel like if it's meant to be in the future I will have it but right now for the price I think it was like 3200 it's just kind of a lot compared to what I had paid for the red version which I had bought when it first came out but anywho I am getting off topic if you wanted to know what Tarina had purchased as well I will leave her channel down below I don't know if by this time this video is out that she had posted hers already but if she hasn't just continue to check sometime in the future but guys this is my beautiful Fendi jacket okay so the one thing that I do love about this jacket is the fact that it is the windbreaker style it is very appropriate for Hawaii's pretty much spring summer season all year round and then it's also good for the windy season as well it does have back here it has a velcroed hoodie rolled hoodie that you can pop up and use 
I have not used the hoodie function as well, but technically I've only used this jacket twice since I had purchased it. And um, you're probably thinking, Rochelle, that's not enough time to have something and use something to give it a full review. And you know what? Yes, you are right. But the reason why this is only the second time I've worn it so far is because I had to exchange the first one that I had got a couple months ago. And the reason for that is because um, I am not, and I hope you guys don't get offended or anything because you do you, but I am not that picky when it comes to things. Like I understand that things are hand done so everything's not gonna be perfect. Um, of course, I do have my like absolute hard nose, okay? Like scratches, no, definitely not. But little threads that just pull off here and there that doesn't really look like it's gonna affect anything, it's fine by me. So the first one that I got, I noticed that um, on the bottom, so you'll see here, that it has these um, adjusters here that can make it more cinched, more cropped. And then it also prevents it from, you know, air going up. But you see here how um, it has, I don't know if you can see, you probably can because I can see it on the viewfinder. But you see how it has the strings coming out? The first version that I had was worse. And then like you see the entry points here. Okay, see, so, okay, I guess this is just the nature of the jacket because if you even look at the holes here, you'll start to see some fabric pull out of the inside of the jacket. So the one reason why I wasn't that um, afraid about it is because this is something that's coming in the jacket, um, from inside of the jacket, and it's not filled with anything. I just think it's just extra fabric probably rubbing on the inside that's pulling out. So that, as long as it's not bothering the actual outer shell of the jacket, I'm okay with. Um, again, I am not that picky. However, the reason why I had returned, or sorry, I had exchanged the first one is because if you see the back here, you can see that there's obvious pulling here in the baguette area and it's because yes it is a lightweight jacket um this nylon shell is thin so this is pretty heavy even though it's not heavy for us it is pretty heavy on the nylon so here where there's stress stress marks in these corners here um it started to kind of i don't know i don't want to say rip because it wasn't rip but it was obviously stressing the nylon so much that you could see obvious like scratch marks happening. So this one isn't doing it, thank goodness. Um, but you will start to see it and if I still have the pictures, I will insert them here so you can see what I'm talking about. So um, that's why this one has only been worn twice because I had to exchange for another one. And I have to say this second one is leagues better than the first one so you'll also see here too that it has like this plastic ff black in the front just like normal baguettes and the uh one reason why i really love this jacket is because again you can turn it inside out from a jacket to a baguette so let me show that to you now um unzip it so if you see here too look at that the new um, Fendi zipper pull is so cute. Let me just take out this hanger. So when you open up the baguette, it's functional obviously because you have to put the jacket in, but it comes with this strap as well, which is a Fendi FF strap and it's actually very stretchy. So what you would do is um, roll in the jacket. So when you roll in the jacket, you'll see there's a zipper here. So you just go ahead and close that zipper. This is what it looks like. You can even crossbody it. It's going to be a short crossbody, like a belt bag style, because it is a stretchy band. You can do that as well. And then you also, when you open it up, there is also space for you to put some things in as well. Currently I am using my Porter Fendi phone baguette. So what I have in here is car fobs, my key holder, and a... Oh my gosh, what is this? 
and a uh, co uh, and a card holder. That is all I have in my little baguette here. But exactly these things. Let me put in this key. But exactly those things can fit right into my rainy day baguette. You're able to still fit things in because the jacket portion, you're still able to fit things in because your jacket portion of the rainy day baguette is going to be in the back. So you're still able to use it as a bag, which I think is pretty neat. And it still holds your necessities. I love the innovation of this baguette. However, the make I still feel like needs some work. Uh, they just had a price increase. So the amount that I paid for this is different about like five to six hundred dollars different from what I had paid for initially because I believe Fendi did have a price increase already early this year um, or just recently actually um, so I am actually really happy with this I love the color and that's the reason why when you see in the vlog how much I really loved that Porter Fendi. The reason why I decided to buy this is because the grays are pretty similar. The look is pretty similar. It's just this I get two uses for one and I already have you know one that's very similar. It's just in the red and then I ended up buying the navy and then I do have the black so I didn't really feel like I needed to add another one despite how much I really love that color and how it turned it looks slightly olive green in some tones gray and I love the color gray so I just went with this because I actually really love the concept of this and I still do love it I do wear this jacket quite a lot and I gotta say when I do wear the jacket it I've, I get so many different compliments and so many different questions to like, why is your jacket like that? Is that bag detachable? Like I get tons of questions wearing this, but I absolutely love it. I think it is a comfy jacket. I think it looks cool. It does also come in a pale pink as well, which is the color I first initially seen it in. And I was like, oh, that's pretty interesting. And then come to find out they had this gray um, turtle dove color, which is beautiful would I recommend it yes but if you are picky about stuff um, like little things probably not um, but I do think this is pretty cool I do like it I do recommend it um, some things that I would change though is I wish that this button clasp was at least magnetic because it is a little bit hard um, like see right now because I don't have anything supporting it it's hard to kind of oh it's a no, it's not magnetic. But, um, I mean, otherwise that, like, also this part too, it would have been better maybe if it was a silver buckle, but I understand that they're trying to go monotone. I do love how this strap is attached, and I do love how it's slightly stretchy and then slightly metallic. Um, however, I think I would have preferred to have a detachable strap. I think that would be cool as well. But I understand that they, they're trying to not put as much weight to this as possible. And like any other typical um, rolled up jacket like this, you have to understand that you have to give it's going to wrinkle as long as you keep it in here is that's why I always hang it as a jacket because I understand that the longer that you keep it in here, the more wrinkled your jacket will be. You just have to um, hang it back up, give it some air, give it some life and it will release those wrinkles within time because see how it was how quick it is to already have the wrinkles. But that's bound to happen. The nature of this um, soft nylon is going to happen, but it will de-wrinkle itself. But otherwise, that guys totally would recommend. I think this jacket is a winner. Uh, it's very lightweight, so it's something that you can use all year round. The price is something to think about. I think now it is closer to $2,400, $2,500. Um, 
but I would definitely recommend. I think it's a fun jacket. It garners a lot of attention. If I mean, that wasn't really what I was looking for. I like the fact that it had uh, two different functions and uses. That's why I really gravitated towards it. But guys, I just think that this is a killer windbreaker jacket. And that it's a cool statement piece that I will have in a long time in my collection. Never ever meant to be so sour, baby Running on a steam every day, be the same Living like this, testing all my patience Need a bit of you every time I drink Like a love Like a love Got a ton of gold and fuck around. See my eyes got money bags. I don't rest. I might be a Nike fiend. I need my checks. Headed for the light, ain't just hype. Just not overnight. I take my advice. I'm gonna do this right. Feeling nice. What's the price? Yeah. Do not live in twice. Yeah. My fam on my spine. Yeah. Green be getting sliced like a lime. I never ever meant to be so sour, baby. Running on a steam every day, be the same Living like this, testing all my patience Need a bit of you every time I drink Like a love, like a love mm -hmm. I depend on the way you send chills down my spine Wanna give you all my time Give you all my time You burn my chest Just like tequila Wanna show you why you don't really need her Why you don't really need her Never ever meant to be so sour, baby Running out of steam every day be the same Living like this, testing all my patience Need a bit of you every time I drink Like a love But guys, that will conclude the Fendi Baguette Jacket review today. Um, do you have this jacket? If so, let me know how you love it. Or you don't love it, let me know in the comments below. Or if you have any questions, let me know as well. But again, guys, you guys are always the LS. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Bye!